I'm gonna really nonchalantly go through all of my shoes and how I replaced my normal sneakers and just everyday shoes with barefoot shoes. So first we've got these New Balances, pretty sweet, so you can actually see them. Reeboks, off-white Reeboks, pretty cool and clean. Some slightly older Pumas, but still very cool sneakers. That's it. So for these, here's what I was able to do. First off, we got the Zero Kelso. These are a really cool all-around sneaker every day. They're the most normal looking just sneakers that I can say that I've found uh, that are barefoot style. So, you know, they're zero drop. They've got kind of a harder sole, so not like quite as barefoot -y than everything else, but still pretty good. They look kind of dope. I think they look cool, slightly worn down too. So these are pretty new. Um, but you know, these are a great replacement for the Pumas and the Reeboks to some degree. And I mean, all three of these, they kind of check a lot of the same boxes. They're just kind of cool, uh, yeah, sneakers. And two, uh, we got the Wildling Tanukis. So these are very cool, super lightweight, also zero drop barefoot shoes. These are more normal, like super bendy, flexy barefoot style. Um, and they're really lightweight, suede, uh, easy to wear, just slip them right on. And they look pretty dope. You look like a sage walking around wearing these. I've gotten a lot of compliments. <laughs> they're just cool. They're just a really cool minimal kind of shoe. So. They're also kind of off-white, like the uh, Reeboks, so they check that box. There's kind of the everyday sneaker section. Next we'll do like athletic shoes and stuff. So these are just some New Balance running shoes that I used to wear. Uh, you know, play basketball, run, whatever you gotta do. We got these Nikes. I got these at a thrift store, they never fit super well. But, you know, to play basketball, to go to the gym, Whatever, I would wear these sometimes. They just kind of look cool with sweats. And then I got these Vans that uh, somebody gave me a while back, but I would wear them to the gym to do like squats and deadlifts and stuff. They were my flat footed shoes. Uh, so that was the function of these. To replace these shoes, I have the Vibram Trail something, Trailmaster, Trailblazer, something like that. Very cool. They're my only shoes from v Vibram, but they're very, they work great. I mean, running, any type of running is awesome in these. That's all I've used them for so far, but I really like them. They feel great. They've got just enough padding that you need on the bottom of your feet uh, to feel confident running on like sidewalks and stuff, but also through trails, you know, um, they're very cool. So definitely replaces the functionality of these black ones and also I have these Shama Sandals Cruisers. And these are awesome. I really like these minimal uh, barefoot sandals. Uh, I actually wear these to lift. Um, I mean, I, I'm currently lifting at my apartment gym. I'm not sure if I'd wear them to a commercial gym. I don't know if they would let you or not, 
but it's great. You know, they're flat on the bottom, you know, there's zero drop, like, like they're supposed to be for, you know, doing certain lifts and stuff. Uh, and I, I'll also just, I mean, I'll just lip them off and squat barefoot if I want. But anyway, um, so these replace both of these. And, you know, obviously there are plenty of barefoot athletic shoes and stuff. You know, I haven't focused on that yet that much, but these have been great for my needs at the moment. I'm just saying that if you need an athletic pair of barefoot shoes, that is probably the easiest kind that you can get, right? Like there's plenty, there's so many great options, so. And finally, we've got like sandals. So I have these Crocs sandals, um, pretty cool. Me and my friend got pairs of these and got the old Chacos. So yeah, very worn down, good shoes, but you'll notice with both of these super thick soles and uh, they both have arch support and they're not flexible at all. You know, they're very hard and thick, so they're actually really not great for your feet. So, once again, you already saw my Shama Sandals Cruisers, and I like these so much that I actually got another pair of Shama Sandals, the Super Browns. So these are great. These are just more like everyday casual um, Shama sandals. So like these ones I'll run and lift in and stuff and wear whenever I want. Uh, they're great all around. But then these, these ones, the, the super browns, uh, look just the brown. I like how the brown looks, the more leathery uh, feel. And the they're just a little bit more substantial with how they're built. Uh, they're, they're just super comfortable. Both of these sandals I can wear all day long. You know, I really like the look of, it's almost like, kind of like a flip-flop kind of look, but then you have this heel strap that keeps you really tight in there. So yeah, these are just the bomb. I, I wear those all the time. <laughs> so from my normal shoes to my barefoot shoes. Yeah! Stuff that I've learned, whereas I'm normally a size 12 in just your normal shoe, I found that I'm actually a half size smaller in most barefoot shoes. So an 11 and a half will usually fit me best with barefoot shoes. I should have gotten an 11 and a half because my toe comes up about here and they should really fit a little bit tighter. That's one thing you might find something similar. With the Vibram shoes, they're awesome. I had to try twice to get the right size. So my first size was a 44 EU, um, and I had to send it back to get a 45. And now they fit perfect, but it's really important with these that they fit just right. Like there's gonna be one size that you should wear, and you gotta make sure to find that one. And obviously with the Vibram shoes, you're gonna need, I just have the Vibram brand, some just normal ankle socks, and they also have no-show socks if you want those so that's great and then last thing here whoops you know this isn't a video to educate you on why you should buy barefoot shoes i'm not explaining that right now but it's been great for me i've loved it the end thanks <laughs>